Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you're all staying safe, right? In the last class, we had covered the first part of the river bank, lesson number seven, right? So today, let's continue the lesson from page number 46. I hope you would have revised or gone through the uh, previous part of the lesson. Let's start. So I'll read on each para and explain it to you. Okay. Hello, mole, said the water rat. Would you like to come over? The rat then lightly stepped into a little boat, rode smartly across. Then he held, held up his forepaw as the mole stepped. Gingerly down and found himself actually seated in the stern of a real boat. Do you know, said Mole, as the rat showed off, I've never been in a boat before in my life. What? cried the rat, open mouthed. Believe me, my young friend, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, half so much worth doing as simply messing about in boats. Simply messing. Look here. If you have really nothing else on hand this morning, we can drop down the river together and spend a long day on it. I have pickled gherkins, salad, french rolls, croissant which Le lemonade, soda, water. Oh, stop, stop, cried Mole in ecstasy. This is so new to me. So, this is a river. The river corrected with the rat. By it and with it and on it and in it, its brother and sister to me, and food and drink. It's my world, and I do not want any other. What lies over there? Asked the mole, waving a paw towards a background of woodland. That? Oh, that's just the wild wood, said the rat shortly. We don't go there very much. We rover bankers, whistles, stots, foxes, and so on live in the wild foot. They're all right in a way, but well, you can't really trust them. And that's the fact. And beyond the wild wood again, asked more. Where well, it's all blue and dim, and one sees what may be hills, or perhaps they may not be. And something like the smoke of towns, or it is only a cloud. Beyond the wind woods comes the white world, said the rat. And that's something that doesn't matter either to you or me. I've never been there and I'm never going, nor will you if you have got any sense at all. Don't ever refer to it again, please. Adapted from the wine, sorry, the wind in the willows by Kenneth Grammy. So, uh, this is a part of story from a story uh, written by Kenneth Grammy, The Wind in the Willows. So let's continue. I'll explain it to you in detail. Hello, Mole. We saw that in the last uh, end that uh, the Mole had uh, actually uh, was just staring at some black hole and he could see the tiny little shining eyes, uh, then a brown small head with a clear clean ears and uh, also uh, it was a river rat, right? So we saw that uh, and then what happens is 
today what we can see so hello mole said the water rat would you like to come over so as soon as this rat water rat had seen mole is uh, greeting the mole saying hello mole and then he says would you like to come over so he's asking mole that if he would like to uh, come over that means go with him the rat then lightly stepped into a light boat rowed smartly across what happened is he was going to enter or get into a boat in the river that's why he asked me uh, asked mole that would he like to go with him so he stepped uh, into a little boat and rowed smartly across and he knew it how to uh, row means to uh, you know sail that boat okay very well then he held his fore paw as the mole stepped gingerly down and found himself actually seated in the stern of a real boat so then what happened is he just helped mole uh, just giving his for paw as uh, his front paw is uh, you can see his uh, hands usually rats have four legs let's uh, imagine the front two as this hands so it just gave his hand for a support for mole to enter into the boat and slowly the mole also stepped in and he found a stern place to sit on the boat stern is rear end of the ship or boat okay the uh, end of the boat okay he found a place to sit on there do you know said mole and the rat showed off i've never been a boat before in my life so uh, the mole is telling a uh, rat that do you know that i've never even stepped into a boat before that means this is the first time i'm stepping into the boat what cried the rat open mouth so rat is really shocked hearing that he had, it was his first time uh, that he is stepping onto the boat so he's crying what haven't you ever stepped in a boat as what rat is trying to convey believe me my young friend there is nothing absolutely nothing half so much work doing as simply messing about in boats simply messing so the rat is uh, telling him that believe me my dear friend there is that there is nothing else in the world that makes you uh, you know so mm, happy and you know just uh, keep yourself engaged uh, just by sitting inside and messing up is just by spending all the time within the boat just uh, you know sailing uh, on the uh, river so it's telling it's very uh, enjoyable okay look here if you have really nothing else on hand this morning we can drop down the river together and spend a long day on it so the rat is telling him if you have nothing uh, urgent to do in this morning then spend it with me here let's go on the boat towards the uh, you know um, river down the river let's go together and just enjoy the day i have pickled gherkin salad french rolls cress sandwiches lemonade and soda water so that is also you know trying to influence him by telling that i've also there's some pickled that means stored preserve uh, what what all do he have he have gherkins he had salads he had french rolls and some sandwiches cress sandwiches lemonade means lemon juices okay and soda water everything was uh, available where he had preserved it and then oh stop stop cried the mole in ecstasy that means he was so uh, amazed by hearing all this and he was so uh, you know uh, excited okay and he says stop stop this is only too much i can't get any more and i'm so excited by hearing all this this is so new to me so this is a river so uh, he's telling oh, everything is first of all a very new experience 
for me and so he's looking at the river and he's so amazed and uh, he's you know in excited way and uh, in a amused way he's saying oh so this is called a river he's expressing so again the cataracts no it's the river why are you lagging so much it's the river and corrected the right by it and with it and on it and in it it's brother and sister to me and food and drink it's my world and i don't want any other so the rat is telling that i've been by it okay that means i was um, by this river that means i was living side by the river with it i was living with this river and i was all i have already or i have been on the river and also inside the river and uh, he says this is like my the river is like my brother and sister and also it's my food and water and it says uh, the rat says that this is my world and i don't want any other world he says this is the best world which i've got and i'm happy with it and i don't want any other world what lies over there as the mole waving a paw towards a background of wood land you can see in the picture right the rat and the mole is sitting with a lot of fruits on a boat on uh, in the river and also you can see some green uh, trees and grasses and the woods behind so that's nothing but uh, what the mole is pointing towards and he's asking the rat saying what uh, he just pointed over there and he says what is over there what lies over there so what is there and waving the boat towards the background of woodland woodland is nothing but a forest part, okay but oh that's just a wild wood said the rat shortly so the rat is telling explaining it the mole oh you are talking about that that is just a wild wood wild wood is a wild forest we don't go there very much we rob our bankers so he says that actually we don't go to that wild forest uh, not much and uh, actually we usually rover around this uh, we are rover bankers that means we just uh, go in and around this river banks and we don't go uh, you know more than the uh, more than this bank we don't cross over the bank and go visit that uh, places weasels lords foxes dogs foxes and so on live in the wildwood he is also explaining who all are living in that wild forest he sees there are foxes there are dogs and there are weasels which are living inside those forests they are all right in a way but well you can't really trust them and that's the fact so he is again telling that they are all actually uh, okay they are in a right way only but the thing is we cannot trust them at all we can't go there and we can't trust them any uh, where in any way and beyond the wild woods again as mole so mole is so excited about that and he is saying okay that is the wild woods so behind it what is that it is there where it's all blue and dim and one sees what may be hills or perhaps they may not be and something like the smoke of towns or is it only a cloud so he is asking that beyond those woods you can see something like the you know a blue and dim and uh, it it sees like a mountain or is it really a mountain or is it just some dim cloud the blue clouds which are present there so uh, beyond the wild wood comes the wide world so uh, said the rat so the rat is explaining so beyond that wild woods what is present is a wide world that means it's a huge world that is after that woods and that's something that doesn't matter either to you or me so he is explaining him and he suggests and also he gives a you know precaution uh, to him saying that's not at all our business to inquire or go into uh, uh, to look into what is present there or what is that and you, you don't have to research nothing much so don't uh, care at all so it's nothing uh, that is uh, you know which we require okay so he's telling uh, just leave it aside about it so 
it doesn't matter uh, to me or you so even you need not uh, know what is there and who all are there and even that doesn't matter to me as well so let's stop that i've never been there and i'm never going nor will you if you have got any uh, sense at all so he's telling he's also uh, you know uh, telling more that uh, if you have any plans that to go there Uh, i am not leaving you to go there and also i don't like to go there i am never going there so you also don't go and i am not leaving you also so don't keep such plans of going there as what the rat is uh, telling to the mole don't ever refer to it again please so also the rat is uh, giving a warning that please don't ever refer to it that means don't ever even remind me about that and don't even ask this question again about what is it and how is that wide world everything about it and he says please okay so he is requesting him and also warning him telling that don't ever ask this again okay so this is adapted from the wind in the willows by kenneth rahmi okay so This, uh, this was such a beautiful story so it's a suspense why is it because maybe uh, it's just a uh, thing if the wide world is maybe uh, the rat knows that it's uh, us who are living there and it's very dangerous for them to come here and you know we may attack them right so that's why maybe the rat is giving him a warning and he doesn't want ever again to ask um, mole to ask him about that is what the message that we can uh, take from we don't know we'll just assume it's like that so this is all about the story the river bank i hope you have uh, understood and it, you have enjoyed the story so just go through the story revise and re revise the story again and again underline the hard words write it down on your rough notebook and practice the meaning of it i hope you would have understood and uh, so let's wind up this class for today let's meet in the next class so till then take care and bye